Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Di to Automotive History through Diecast. If you're new here, I appreciate you stopping by. Please like and subscribe. And if you've already been part of the family, I appreciate you coming back. Today we have a mail call from Diecast of Hickory, uh, the, the owner of the. Facebook page and the store and the website. His name is Cosmo. Really great guy. He, uh, I believe, he's from North Carolina. He owns his own car dealership, like a, I don't know, I want to say a classic car dealership. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, and he just recently got into Hot Wheels and he went all in. He, he has been buying stuff up and now he's auctioning it off on his page and selling it in his store. He's a really great guy. Um, so I have a delivery from him. I'd like to go through what I got So I got this a team hot wheel I had never seen this one before with this bigger rounder package um, Obviously growing up. This was a show I watched as a kid I also got the Elite 64. Um, I ordered it. It was in my cart. Um, I guess I didn't finish it, and I went back the next day, and it was still in my cart, but obviously I couldn't order it anymore, so I had to buy one. And then I got this 100%. Let's put the turntable up here. This 100% Cobra. Very nice. It's got flames in a lighter blue color. Real riders, red lines. And then next, I got this 200 GT, 2000 GT, 2000 GT, uh, to Toyota 2000 GT. This is from the um, Tokyo Olympics, which never happened because of COVID. Uh, I really love this body style. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, like a European car. It's got the Olympic logos, Tokyo on it. And then I got this Fast and Furious Skyline. Really nice blue. These Skylines are just going up and up in value, all of them. In real life and in Hot Wheels. Um, the way I see it, this is kind of like the Mustang when I was a kid. The Skyline is equal to the Mustang here. Everyone wants one. And then, I'm a big gasser fan. I picked up a Dirty Blonde. Um, I had this one already. But, um, sorry, I'm trying to line the camera up. But uh, I didn't have one open, so I've been trying to get open ones of um, the ones I already have carted. Uh, something I had learned recently is these RLCs that are in these spectrifying colors, these cars are actually chrome dipped. I've been trying to duplicate these colors and it's not coming out as nice. Um, you have to do a lot of polishing if you don't chrome dip them. And then I got this. This is M2's version of the Chevy 1500 454. Uh, this is an awesome looking truck, but man, they didn't have any horsepower. Even with that big block in it, they were slow. But uh, it is a cool looking truck though. I mean, an LS swap with some turbos, a lot of potential. And then I picked up the like import series. It's uh, two, four, six cars, it was. You have this um, Nissan. Um, this is the twin turbo one, right? The, the 240Z? Two, Oh, 300Z. Um, I believe those were twin turbo. 
It's got the Nismo, which is Nissan's aftermarket like racing division on it, gold rims. T-tops, T-tops are always really cool on this. And then next it's got this Subaru and I'm not a big fan of this pink on it. Um, I love Subaru, so I'm just not a fan of the pink. Um, I don't think that wing is factory either. I don't think I've ever seen a wing like that on it. Um, gold wheels, white paint. Uh, very nice. And then next is the Godfather. I believe they call this the AE85. Um, the original drift car. Um, in gold. Eight, why, it's got an 86 on it. Oh, AE86, not 85, 86. Fender flares, some racing deco, pretty nice. And then was the Mitsubishi Lancer, all black. This is kind of the Subaru's competition in the rally world. Very nice car. This is the Subaru and the Lancer are kind of like Mustang versus Camaro the way I see it. I'm an American muscle car guy, so that's how I relate. And then we had a Honda CRX. Yeah, Honda CRX. Looks like a fun little car. Get a little turbocharged four cylinder. I bet you it's pretty fast with how light it is. And then my favorite one out of the, the box set is this Mazda. That is a beautiful burgundy color. Gretty stripes or Gretty logo on the side, black uh, hood. Just very nice combo of black rims. And then they offer mystery boxes. They're $100, 10 of them. You don't know what's in them. You basically say you want a mystery box, first 10 people, and then the order in which you, you know, said you want is the order in which you get to call what box you want, one through ten. Um, and I've done this twice. And with Cosmo, you can guarantee you're going to get your money's worth. Both of my boxes easily were worth $150 to $200. So the first one was an M2 box with all these M2 trucks. So like a traditional, traditional M2 pickup, you know, Chevy square body. tan and, and uh, red something you would see on a farm next is this burgundy and white with a white top very nice detail grill lights I believe the tailgate goes down tail lights just a very nice a replica very nice replica would be the word and then I got some more limited ones. This is a snake chase car, you know, snake at Mongoose. This would be the truck they would use to go get the drag car after it was done racing. So anything with snake or mongoose and die cast is worth some money. And then I got this one, limited. It was like 3000 made. This is Shirley Modowney, which is one of the fastest female drag racers. Uh, I could believe this would be her, the rig they used to, either her personal one that she did this way or the rig they used to pull the car back, I'm not sure. But um, all her stuff was pink. Very nice. And then, I'm not sure who this was, the Hawaiian? Um, but uh, same concept was, you know, truck, 
it would pull the the drag car go get it probably pull it from event to event just a really nice replica another one that was low under 3000 made and then it also came this bundle this was all one bundle for $100 came with this chip foos one anything chip foos puts you know a pen to always looks nice he's got a good eye I mean most people wouldn't think to put that little bit of green in there but it really pops and then this one this one was uh, Edelbrock I would have never thought to put these two colors together but it looks really nice and um, what's nice about it is it looks timeless. I, I think no matter when this truck is, it would look good. Sometimes things get, you know, done and you could tell it's an 80 restoration or, you know, it was done at a certain time. But I think these colors um, stand the test of time. And then the last one in that mystery box, I didn't open. I'm thinking about trading it or seeing if someone wants it was this Chevy uh, one of 3600 it's cool um, just not my style but still I, I got my money's worth it's something I could trade for something I want and then so this is two mail calls really and then the other mystery box I got was the first time he had done the auction and seeing all these people pulling these great boxes like guy pulled one with like 10 red lines original red lines in it and i was like and i wind up being last to to pull my box and he he puts the box down and he's like there's only one car in here but i can guarantee you it's worth more than 150. so i was like oh no what if it's a car i don't like well it wind up being this skyline the uh, membership one and if you look this up online it is easily worth 180 200 dollars um so that's another red line club that i can add to my collection because i wasn't collecting when this one came out so i'm real happy to have that all right everyone thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one